Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ketsdeb here with another Ketsplay video. This is episode 5 of our Subnautica series, and I am absolutely stoked for this video. It is going to be so, so good. We've got so much stuff to do. Um, last episode, we managed to get our Sea Glide, which means we're going to be able to power our way through the seas here, finding all the things that we need. And today, I want to try and find some diamonds to make a laser cutter. Uh, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to find diamonds very easily. So, in the meantime, I'm going to try and head back and find the rest of the sea moth, which is on the wreckage over there somewhere. I'm pretty much ready to go. I've already been playing this for about five minutes just to get myself ready because I'm so stoked to get into this. So, uh, without further ado, I suppose, let's just go for it. There she blows. At least I think it's the one that we were at. Has it got the pipe above it? Yes. So we found a sea moth fragment over there somewhere earlier. I want to see if I can find some other bits and pieces here. A biorat. I think I've already got biorat to find out in a minute. What the hell is that? Let's keep having a swim around here, see what we can find. I think I've already got two pieces of that sea moth, so I only need one more bit. What is over there? Ooh. This is cool. I don't know what it is though. Tree mushroom. I don't know what that is. A moon pool. Oh, I've got it. This place is very cool, but I never know what what it is. Tree leech. Can I pick it? Can I? No. Can I cut this? Oh, I can cut this. It gives me something. Fungal sample. I do not like this thing. Oh God. Why does quartz have to look so much like diamond as well? Damn it. Right, I need to recharge this sea glide. Right, well, the sea moth hunt and the diamond hunt has sort of stagnated slightly. Turns out it's really hard to find diamonds and sea moths. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to build a base. That is what I'm going to. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to build a base, because I feel as though this life pod's a little bit far away from things. And if I can build a base a bit closer to where the action's at, that'll save me some time. So I'm going to try and build myself a habitat builder. So I need a computer chip, I need a wiring kit. So wiring kit, I need silver. Computer chip, I need copper wire. I think I've got copper wire somewhere. Did I make that? Yeah, that's it. So I can make, I can make some of that. I can make a computer chip. Now I just need acquired. advanced wiring kit. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, now I just need to find silver. So have I have I got silver? Oh, quartz. Hmm. All right. So I guess it's going to be a case of just. Having to swim around, see if we can find some silver. Now, silver is easier to find than diamonds, in fairness. And I have found it in the past in these areas here. Now, I didn't realise, but actually you can sit over the top of these. And they, they do your oxygen. It's genius! Aha, here we go. This is this is what we're all about. 
Where's my silver? Silver ore. Where's my gold? It's falling down there. Lead. Gold again. Get rid of you. Don't want you. I want gold and I want the lead. This is good though. Making progress now. So it looks like the bits on the walls aren't really that helpful, but the bits that sit on the sort of horizontal cavey bits, they are quite helpful. It's a cool little cave. No, go away. Go away. Oh my goodness me. Right. Let's better have some silver in here. Right, there we go. For our troubles. Okie dokie. Let's have a look, see what we can do here. Uh, wiring kit, we'll have one of them. I do not need an advanced wiring kit yet, so I'm going to go tools, I'm going to go habitat builder, whammo. The builder tool is designed mm. to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Here she is. I don't really know what I do with it, if I'm honest. Well, let's go out here and see. Ooh. Oh yeah, trust me to have all the crap stuff that I don't actually need. Wow, okay. This is going to be good. So I'm, I really, I need to clear out my inventory of quite a lot of this stuff, don't I? I need to prioritise here. What do I need? Four things. Fabricator, I need a table coral sample. Otherwise I can make that. I can make the radio thing. I need a computer chip for that. A wall locker. A locker. Oh, all right. For that, I need for that I need damn quartz. Okay. Right, I'll find some quartz somewhere. I'm sure. Right, I I think we just go for it. I think we just I think we just go. I'm gonna grab some cable. Um, table. Ooh. We got the table core on here. Yes, I'll take that. That way, I can make a fabricator. So I want to build this over here because I seem to be spending a lot of time just going over here when actually this is basically where I want to be. Go away. Oh god, I seem to have just unwillingly just gone into a completely different area. See moth fragment. Oh, it's coming together now. Right, we're going up. Way too exciting. Sea moth fragment as well. Oh. Right, it was straight down. Please don't lose this. Please don't lose this. It was near that, that thing. There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Right, we're going in. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. We got it. We got it. Oh, yes. Come on. Right, I want to build my new habitat somewhere over here. Yeah, next to this big piece of wreckage. That's what, That's where I want to go. So I've already got an air pipe down here as well. So that sort of helps. I'm going to place it on the tip of this thing. Oh, go away. Right, how do I do this? I sort of want to build it up so I can have a, a viewpoint over the edge there, because that would be pretty cool. Okay, this is amazing. 
Right, um, I need more oxygen. Is that quartz? I need quartz. Passing 100 meters. Yes. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, um. Hatch. I want the hatch there, that's what I want. Ooh, this is so cool! Uh, okay, I, w I would like. Let's, let's do an L. Right, how do I. No. How, how do I turn it? Uh, uh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Um, so I want, I want that bit. Oh, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Back to the top. I need a multi purpose room, that's what I want, really, isn't it? Damn. So let so that really I want to have there. I'll do that there. And I will do the same here. Oh, it's coming together here. It's coming together. So, can I? Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. So what do I need? Okay, so really I need some solar panels on there, don't I? I assume. I don't really know. Oh, that is cool though. 30 seconds. Right, we need quartz. Quartz hunt, that's what we're going to go on in a second. Is that another sea moth right around? Oh, it's one of those damn things. Good grief. Can't a man f forage for quartz in peace? Oh, is there something down there? Bosh, got some. Right, I need some more. So, sit rep. I'm now looking for quartz, and my sea gliders run out of power. But on the bright side, I found some gold. All right, I'm gonna head back to my pod. See if I can change that power cell on the sea glide. So I've just popped back to the life pod, and I remembered that we have found the sea moth fragments. So I just want to double check what I need to be able to build one of those. So I need titanium ingot. Oh my god, I could make one. Uh, all I need is I need creep vine. Right. Give me two seconds. Rightio then. Seamoth, Seamoth, Seamoth. And. <gasps> Make Seamoth. Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Gotta keep checking out them glutes. Oh my word, my Seamoth is ready. This is so good. Uh. This is so cool. So, that was me just uh, getting myself back in my seat. I'm psyched for this. Right. The initial episode idea of the diamonds may not have gone to plan, but we have got our sea moth. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting way ahead of myself. What did I actually need for my base? Um, oh my god, it's so cool. Look. 
Look at it. So I need quartz. I can find quartz without using my battery my Seamoth. Uh, quartz, 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 quartz. Down here looks promising. This is like quartz territory. And in here, there we go. Okay, so this is better. We have things. I also made a beacon as well to place on the base. So we know exactly where it is. Right, now I think we've got everything that we need to head back to our... So let's head, let's head back to our base. Oh. oh, this is so cool. What the heck was that? Ah, there's the wreck. I was getting a bit disorientated then. Uh-oh. So I can't just ram things. That doesn't go well. I'm just go away. Let me have my fun. Uh, it, it might be gone. I don't know. Right, let's... Um... Has that done anything? Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. How do I make oxygen? Base attached air pump. I don't really know what I need to do here. Oh! Power restored. Oh! Primary systems online. Oh, it's because it's daylight. Of course, because it's solar powered. Uh. We've also got a beacon. Got a beacon going. Would you just leave me alone? Let me have my fun. Beacon name. Base one. I'm gonna build an em empire down here. Em enter base. This is gonna be it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. So this episode didn't go quite according to plan. I still didn't find the diamonds because I really want to cut into these wrecks and find out what's in there. But we did, we did manage to find our sea moth, which is amazing. I'm so excited about exploring with this. Don't forget right at the beginning, that's where we went over there and we found those weird plant things. So I can't wait to go and explore those as well and see what other creatures and blueprints that we can find. And we, of course, have our first habitat and it's taken me a while to work out how on earth it powers itself. But of course, solar powers during the day. So, uh, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to leave this episode. And of course, the story is going to continue in episode 6. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, it really means a lot to me. So uh, I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.